how Vin Diesel exposed The Rock's fragile ego. For the past 30 years, Dwayne The Rock Johnson carefully crafted a larger than life superhero persona that wakes nice. up earlier than anyone, eats more than anyone, works yeah. out harder than anyone, yeah. has more success than anyone, and yet still is a gentle, lovable family man. On the big uh -huh. screen, he always beats up the bad guys, never dies, and every movie ends happily ever after. Maintaining this near perfect persona is unsustainable, and in 2016, yeah. The Rock made yeah. one decision that he deeply regretted. This decision slowly started the unraveling of his career See, and reputation. He had the right idea mm -hmm. with the persona. Mm -hmm. His ego just took it too far. Mm -hmm. yep. You don't have you could have you could be this inspirational person and still be relatable. Yep. Yep. I do all of this, but I still care about my family. I do all of this, but I still have heart. I do And then the ego was like, oh, Black Adam. Oh, uh, first time trying in and out. Oh, first time trying in and out. The six for the third six time. Six yeah. Come on, bro. Jen. You see, oh, it's like one man write myself back into WWE. Had an edge on the rock, and that was Vin Diesel. Vin had the multicultural appeal, the rough and tough exterior with a soft side that people adored. Family. And to put the icing on the that cake, the he has we just know. a little more box office success. Mm -hmm. Vin Diesel made Dwayne mm. Johnson's blood boil. No matter how hard the rock worked, Vin just seemed to have one up on him. And Vin loved Battle to rub the ball, it in niggas. <laughs> Two Today different we're ball going to shapes. deep dive into the Crazy. ultimate ego war between two of Hollywood's beloved balls. Craziest part, only one. They look close to the same height, but one nigga in this picture is wearing boots. Uh, which one is there? Vin Diesel. Okay. Mm. okay. Vin Diesel is canonically not that tall. Ah. What's <laughs> you in this word canonically? I haven't been saying that once. It's a big, it's big in like the whole anime scene type he, shit. It's I, big it's in like this world. It's like third or fourth. Yeah, 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 type shit, type shit. Canonically, I need to look. <laughs> <laughs> Called Badasses, the only battle where The Rock could not control the outcome. Yeah. In 2004, The Rock's Hollywood career was not going to plan. He quit wrestling to go into acting full time, but failed to hit big. From 2004 to 2006, he starred in Walking Tall, which was received well by fans, but hated by critics. He had throwaway roles ben, in the six crime foot. comedy Be Cool, and the film oh, adaptation yeah, of the popular yeah. video game Doom, which mm -hmm. failed to break even financially. Damn. He had the comedy thriller Southland Tales and his oh first God. lead acting role in Gridiron, Gridiron Gang, Gang yeah. which performed a little bit better financially, but none of these films indicated that The Rock had a promising film career ahead of him. Even though he saw himself becoming an action star, he was only finding success in kid-friendly films the like Game Plan, yeah. Game Plan and Race to Wichita Game. Mountain, along with that. Get yeah. Smart and Too Too fair, Too fair, all yeah. of which made over $100 million at the box Damn. office. In addition to The Rock's career looking unpredictable, the Fast and Furious franchise needed a rebrand if they wanted to see increased box office success. The first three films, which many diehard fans of the series consider to be the best, particularly Tokyo Drift, all were centered around car culture and attracted car enthusiasts. Back when the series paid attention to detail, I love how they show us Dom approaching the turn, downshifting to second, and then clutch popping to break the Ooh, wheels loose. Man, I wish mm. they still made movies like this. Mm. Now y'all gotta, y'all I gotta see this is where mm. this is where mm. if they do the same thing you take the risk of dying after one or two more movies or you take that chance and you go global bro I ain't gonna lie and as much as as I ain't gonna lie I'm gonna be so real with you as a car nigga them first three are great they are great but that last seven they are action movies also, shout out to the 70s Chappelle and yeah. Matt Black. As yeah. as much as as much as I hear people go fast and fierce, it's it's da 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 da. No, bro, no, these no, foreign in there. Okay. these foreign countries internationally love Fast and Furious is phenomenal. love Fast and Furious is phenomenal. <laughs> love it. It's an action. It's a dude's action yeah. movie. There's a reason they're on fucking eleven. I feel like the issue is. People hate the movie. After watching all the movies, 
I was like, people hate this just to hate. Yeah. Like, it's literally a movie you shut, like, you just, oh, this you is You just, fun. just, this just sit fun. back. They yeah. compared it to the first three. Yeah. The the, first just three take the first three, love them, and then just sit back and just, you know. Yeah. I haven't watched the last seven, but I'm just saying. The last seven. Based though, on the. Like, when you watch them, granted, it's a lot of shit that happening, like. Like that wouldn't happen in the real world. Yeah. But if you're like, oh, this is a movie, it's like, okay, this is this is cool. <laughs> it's movie logic. This the fourth film, Fast and Furious, still featured many elements of street racing culture, but up the it's action fun. scenes Fact. to a exactly. new level. Explosions, yeah. foot chases, drugs, women. <laughs> that bro, Fast and Furious four reset like it set a new standard for the verse fighting crime this was a test to see if they could slowly move away yep. from car culture it, and yep. it was a big hit securing 360 million dollars at the world and it just kept making office, more making it and the more, most successful and film more. of the franchise at that point it's also important to understand that vin diesel was the main character of the very first film then he denied to participate in the second film and right. only made a minor cameo in the third film and but he, he came, came back, back strong in the fourth film film to a huge success. I'm not suggesting Vin Diesel is the reason why the fourth film was so successful, but from there he became an integral part of the production and storylines. Yep. Vin Diesel Shit. My my fourth movie made 300 million. My first three ain't made nowhere near they best believe I'm doubling down. Nope. Double it down. One Race Films Double. took the reins from Universal Pictures to maintain creative control over future films. Diesel worked closely with screenwriter Chris Morgan to produce a story arc to further explore and develop his character. <laughs> Diesel that wide body back up. Damn. It's a wide body Chevelle back there? No, that's oh, not a Chevelle. That's a, uh, it's a custom kitted uh, Challenger. Ah, Allegedly in Tokyo Drift, they actually did drifting and had a full guy pretend to be the director. So when the cops came, he got arrested instead of the actual director. Ah, oh, damn. Morgan to produce a story arc to further explore and develop his character. Diesel was clearly very passionate Yay. about the franchise. He had been there from the beginning and he felt like he knew what was best for the franchise going forward. This dynamic seemed to work well until another successful actor slash producer joined the fast team and felt his work ethic and vision was better than Vin, which led to a few bruh. that caused one. Like you're, That's why you're Hobbit and Shaw the, didn't do that well. Hate to break it to you. Like, you're not, you're not even the guy. You were a piece. You were not the pie, man. Yeah. And then, I'm, nigga, you're a, nigga, you're, the, you're not even the crust. Bro, <laughs> sit back and you're enjoy the, the success cream, it's like, giving oh you. God. What the one fuck? of them to leave the franchise as a whole. But first, Wait. food that caused one Rock of them to Rock leave left. the franchise yeah. Yeah. as a whole. But first, you do it too much as a side sponsor. Piece. Join them by fighting needs one. Underdog is the one iteration Snipe, of the series. Yeah, no, nice Universal snipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snipe, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh -huh. theme to transform the franchise into a heist action series that yeah. happened to have a little theme around cars. Universal did this in hopes of drawing in a larger, more mainstream audience yeah, that might otherwise be turned off by it the heavy emphasis work. on cars and car culture. With just one car race, Fast Five is considered the transitional film in the series, placing greater focus on action sequences, brawl, Gunfights and the wait. The one race in Fast Five is the race at the stoplight. It's the race at the stoplight between all of them, and it's like for Brian to get more money off the thing. That's oh, the yeah. only race in the yeah. fucking. Oh now, my god! What they? I haven't seen the latest one, so I don't. I probably seen Fast Five, but I don't remember. But uh, that's when they it was a race down that. in Brazil. Yeah. No, it wasn't. My assumption. Oh, when they carried that big ass safe? Yeah. Mm. That, I ain't gonna lie, that, see, that safe safe. <laughs> One thing, as a car nigga that I hated, I hated they switched, they switched the chargers. Because these aren't the same chargers they had when they were police cars. Mm. The central heist. Fast that, Five yeah, yeah, follows okay, Dominic Toretto after he is freed from- Toretto! Toretto, Patrick! He did it on purpose, bro. Dom Toretto! He just baited Family! Hellcat! Dodge! Somebody please edit that onto a fucking Hellcat. For the love of God. <laughs> that nigga baited the fuck out of you, oh, Aaron. Got gotcha. you. In the central heist. 
Fast Five follows Dominic Toretto after he is freed from a prison <laughs> transport bus by Brian and his sister Mia. He knew Together, exactly. they he knew flee that she was to Rio de Janeiro comment. to avoid capture. In Rio, the protagonists consider carrying out a heist, targeting a corrupt businessman. They assemble a team that was reminiscent of what Marvel Studios would do with the Avengers. The Avengers yeah. 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 Consist of characters who were introduced in previous films, including Tyrese's Roman Pierce, Ludacris's Tej Parker, yeah. Tom Kang's Han. Lou, Gal Gadot's Giselle. Bro, I go oh, she was in the. Yes, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. She, was, she dated Han at the end. I ain't gonna lie, bro. bro. I'm gonna keep it a whole beast at these movies. Movies. Okay, now you're making me want to watch. Bro, these, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I'm gonna fuck around and watch. What? Yeah, you're gonna watch them on a plane. Bro, make these you wanna movies. Do it, bro. Also, these movies. Just in case y'all didn't know, those two guys in Tokyo Drift that were fishing were the original guys who popularized drifting in Tokyo. Ah, bro, bro. Okay, that's why they were critiquing their drift, bro. This movie started that. That damn, I wish I was in an action movie. This started it for me. Like Transformers is like ah, oh, but nigga, alien robots ain't real. You know what is real? Robbers, cars, guns. Eight hundred horsepower, pure, 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 pure. Supercharged V eight. Y'all know what's scary? Somebody, something pissing Aaron off, even in the slightest, and him having to drive us home. I'm in the passenger seat like this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh. whoa! And he's just sitting there. He be, he be acting like he'll drunk. Yeah. So don't don't act like that. Don't act like that. I ain't driving like that. Whole time you like this. Yeah, nigga, the fucking the, hell, the Durango got bad suspension. Let's, no, no, it wait. ain't the suspension. No, 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 we talking, talking about, about we talking about, we talking about gas break, gas break. Well, that's what we talk about. Fuck suspension. No car, no car. Through plan and execute the heist, they must contend with both local law enforcement and a ruthless federal agent, Luke Hobbs, portrayed by Dwayne Johnson. He had the perfect role. He fucked it up. To justice. This role was Ego, crucial bro. in revitalizing the Rock's career. In 2010, yep. he decided he was going to. I ain't gonna lie. Vin Diesel saved that nigga's career. Thank you. Vin Diesel saved his career. And he was trying to fuck it up. Risk everything. No more family friendly movies, shave his head bald, and magically put on 30 pounds of lean muscle to depict himself that as clean the as hell in this movie. badass that audiences yeah. hadn't seen since his wrestling days. Luckily for him, it didn't take long for him to land this hit. Not only was he cast in the genre he so greatly desired, but he was also an antagonist, which is extremely uncharacteristic for The Rock. For the first time in the franchise's history, Fast Five received overwhelmingly positive reviews mainly due to Damn. its adrenaline-pumping action sequences, jaw-dropping stunts, and great acting performances. It secured $640 million in the worldwide box office. Bro, please, please. Y'all see the trend? Yeah. Look, look, Vin Diesel. Double it. 300 Vin most Diesel. we ever made. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Next movie, double it. Look, Vin, Diesel. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. My lord. <laughs> My lord. Vin Diesel. This. I know you like, who are these two guys and gal reacting to my stuff? Our cars are built because of you. Mm. The Hellcat, mm. the Durango. Mm. Put us in a film, please. Mm. Put us in. You know how like they brought they bought fucking Caleb and them for like the Venom that commercial. Put me in a Fast and Furious commercial, and I'm gonna show you how to whip a Hellcat. I rock with that. I please, bro. That's all I want, bro. I like Vin, Vin, look, bro. You put us in a commercial. This go to twelve hundred million. Well, you mean one point two billion? You mean one point two billion? Whatever that is, quadruple it. <laughs> Which was over. You're too big to be in the film. Bad that nigga. Tie that nigga out. That's bro. You got a fat action star, bro. Nigga, come what on. What are you talking about, bro? Come on, bro. Nigga jumping off a building, hit backflips and shit. You ever seen an old lineman hit backflips? Look, 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 look. They do that shit, bro. A real crazy ass action fucking shit. Then at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Fuck. Paul Blart, but fast and furious, bro. Come, come on, bro. bro. 
biggest film's revenue. Plus, Fast Five is widely regarded by fans and critics as the best one of the series. And then they just from Empire Magazine from here. praised Johnson's performance, saying, How to reignite an aging franchise? Drop the rock on it. Dwayne Johnson hopes this through the ego. movie. Oh, oh, the yeah, 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 trails in his wake. This it was where the overwhelmingly ego started. agreed upon that The Rock's Luke Hobbs was the perfect dance partner for Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto. And mm -hmm. the studio delved deeper into their complex relationship with Fast and Furious. The nigga, I ain't gonna lie. The best part of the whole series when they threw that nigga John Cena in that bitch. Ooh, when they, they threw, they, bro, they just started they, throwing buff niggas at it, like. Nigga, oh God, now throw a fat nigga at it. I'll show you how to be real, buff. Kingpin ass nigga, it ain't get hit a backflip out of nowhere, What's bro. What's other nigga name? Um, uh, Shaw. Shaw, Shaw's name. Hobbs. Stacy, Jason Stacy. Oh, Jason Stacy, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, just yeah, yeah. started throwing. Oh, also, in Fast, Fast and the Furious or Fast Five. I think he's known as Fast and the Furious. The bad guy is Mother's Milk. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, what a shit. I'm like, I ain't know it either. That, that nigga pulled off being Puerto Rican or uh, Brazilian, Brazilian so fucking good, bro. Oh, you left under my gore? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's Six. that's Ant Man with the. The film picks uh, up where Fast Five left off with Toretto, O'Connor, and their crew living as fugitives. Look at how, look how cut up that nigga Thorns is. Nigga been folded his arms his entire life. That nigga future trucks. We gotta make it through. We ain't gonna be late, bro. Heist in Rio de Janeiro. The story unfolds as Hobbs recruits Dominic and his team to help take down a skilled mercenary organization led by Owen Shaw, who is wreaking havoc this across Europe. Evil in, in exchange for full pardons, the crew agrees to join forces with Hobbs to stop Shaw, who has assembled a team of highly skilled drivers and operatives. Okay. That shit was gas. Like, nigga, the one before that was action, but nigga, this was James Bond. This one, I say, like, oh. like a James Bond. Oh, oh this is the one where he, uh, he gets, like, pushed out the window and lands in the car? Uh, no, that's eight, I think. That's eight? Uh, bro, I have to, like, I know the movie, but I just get so lost. Bro, like, stop pausing that. Shut up, nigga. That's a reaction. Right, but, Tell him that nigga out, too. No, pussy. But, like, we really, we really do. To label the film like, as a success, we, we ain't got much time, bro. Tell him that nigga out, bro. Don't time him out. Don't time him out. Tell him out, bro. I'm time him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut your punk ass up, nigga. He was right. He was right. God damn. Now I got I have a flight to catch. I ain't saying shit. I literally just told you that. Keep late. Don't worry. I want all that shit. God, piss me the fuck off. Sixth installment needed to be split, with writing for the two films occurring simultaneously. We have to pay off this story. We have to service all of these character relationships. And when we started mapping all that out, it just went beyond 110 pages. Okay. The studio said, "You can't fit all that story in one damn movie." Okay, okay. Despite being filmed back to back, Furious Seven came out years later in 2015. <laughs> the film follows Dom and his team as they face off against a new enemy, Deckard Shaw, who seeks revenge for his brother. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. a devastating yeah, attack yeah, yeah. on their home, the team sets out to find Deckard, who is hunting them down one by one. Furious 7 received generally positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. Oh, the film was praised for its thrilling action sequences, oh my God. Oh, cars, yeah. and heartfelt oh tribute God. to Paul yeah. Walker. Oh yeah, this one he died. Yeah, yeah. Away yeah. Midway through that film. actually and helped the, the movie office, as sad as it was. Furious yeah. 7 would be the Damn. first film in the franchise to surpass one billion dollars, grossing over 1.5 just well stop. And despite Vin Diesel and The Rock being Holy. considered equally as important to the Fast Holy. franchise, outside of the series, they had drastically different careers. Johnson became one of Holy. the highest paid action stars because of the series. The same can't be said for Diesel. Johnson appeared in several blockbuster films yeah, like he was Journey easy. 2, that nigga was easy. Yeah. Him and Kevin Hart. G.I. Joe, Retaliation, Hercules, and San Andreas, all of which surpassed $200 million dollars at the worldwide box office. Diesel on the other hand, struggled to find anything substantial. Babylon AD bombed at the box office and was oh, destroyed damn. by damn. film critics. Jesus Christ. Chronicles of Riddick and yeah. Riddick, the second yeah. and third installments of the Chronicles of Riddick franchise, left fans with mixed yeah. opinions. The last Witch Hunter didn't make enough to break even at the box yeah. office and received less than stellar reviews. Triple yeah. X Return of Xander Cage, the third yeah, installment man. in the I was about to mention film Triple series, X. stood out as the only film in his filmography outside of the Fast and Furious franchise to break even at the box office, oh. grossing over $346 million worldwide. What about the For first Johnson, Triple X? 
They did okay, but it's it still wasn't. Oh, I'm not talking racist. Oh, don't. Oh, okay. It wasn't as comparable. It was, it was not comparable. Opposite. Nothing he did. Oh, true. The pacifier as well. In, in the 2010s was a popular like On top of that, he even made a brief return to the wrestling ring. Yeah, this, the Rock's he was Hollywood juice, takeover bro. was a huge that success. Was. And it kind of made the Fast and Furious franchise seem like it was a second priority to him. Yeah. His overwhelming success in Hollywood may have made him feel like he knew the right way to do things and maybe he should call the shots. Yeah. On the other hand, the franchise was seemingly all that Vin Diesel had, which understandably made him super protective over the creative vision. Yeah. But The Rock followed Vin's lead for long enough and he was oh, tired on, of it. This so he man. decided to make an Instagram post that he would later deeply regret. On August 8th, 2016, hey, no Johnson way. posted a lengthy, now deleted Instagram post in which he hey, praised his female no co-stars as well as the way. fate of the fear crew but called out some of his male co-stars without referring to anyone by name. There's no other franchise that gets my blood boiling more than this one, Johnson wrote. My female co-stars are always amazing and I love them. My male co-stars, however, are a different story. Some conduct themselves as stand-up men and true professionals while others don't. The ones that don't are too chicken sh to do anything about it anyway. Candy, Candy asses. asses. When it's you watch crazy. this movie next April and it seems like I'm not acting in some of the scenes and my blood is legit boiling, you're right. An actor basically denouncing a film that they are supposed to be promoting is mm. extremely rare. I mean, yeah. he set it yeah, up for people smart. to go in there with a the negative post. mindset. This was extremely was uncharacteristic yeah, for the role. Also got into I mean, Tyrese. what about yeah, fans? I, I knew what the Tyrese you know, the beef. word that was said 81 times in the Fast franchise? Yeah, his wrestling the media persona. was in a frenzy trying to figure out what co-star The Rock was talking about. Fans were able to rule out Tyrese Gibson after he posted a video of The Rock singing to his nine-year-old daughter with the caption, DJ happens to be one of the most humble, down-to-earth, and professional people I've and ever worked so with. so you thought. More importantly, yeah, right. he's my brother. We have never had a problem and will never have a problem. Cap. Now you have to remember- Wasn't there a problem after this? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fast series is one of the most successful global film franchises of all time. So while this may seem like menial drama, the media knew they had a juicy story on their hands. And it seems like they amplified the drama as various media outlets outlets were reaching out to anyone who worked on the Fast series to get a quote and further this story. Ooh. TMZ posted another article confirming Man. that Johnson's social media rant was targeted at Vin Diesel. Mm. A quote production source said the pair reportedly butt heads in part because Vin is a producer and has made decisions that didn't sit well with the former wrestling champ. Another source explained that Vin was having problems with The Rock because he kept showing up late for production, sometimes failing to show up at all. However, oh, there were no. other reports whoa, that essentially whoa. said the exact opposite, that Vin Diesel was the one who was acting like a diva, specifically during the filming of Fast 7. Vin spent a whole day in his trailer one day, a source told The Hollywood Reporter. Another source told Page Six that Diesel was constantly late when we worked together. So the source lying. added that Diesel acted like lying? a diva right. and has Ooh, held up production before. Big and that it's not surprising that he's the one The Rock is calling out. It's tough to know if there was actually animosity behind the scenes and now the staff is essentially <laughs> using sides, or Thank if you. these sources were just the PR teams from both actors trying to deflect blame and responsibility. Mm. Despite the animosity between them, Diesel and Johnson allegedly met on August 9th, one day after The Rock's initial Instagram post, on the Atlanta set to hash out their differences. Partly because tensions were running so high, it was almost impossible to shoot scenes. Johnson seemingly addressed the issue in another Instagram post on August 11th. You guys reading this know how much I believe in the idea of team effort. That means respecting every person, their time, and their value when they step onto my set or partner with our production company. And like with any team, as a family, Whoa. there's gonna be a conflict. Whoa. Family is gonna have differences of opinion Whoa. and fundamental oh, wow. beliefs. <laughs> to me, conflict can be a good thing when it's followed by great resolution. I was raised on healthy conflict and well welcome it. And like with any family, we get better from it. At the end of the day, me and the F8 co-stars all agree on the most important thing, delivering an incredible movie to the world. While their co-stars initially remained silent about the situation, okay. other cast members made their alliances clear. On August 12th, Tyrese posted two photos of himself with Vin Diesel, along so. with a lengthy message referring to him as his brother. Shit, it's his movies. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> yeah, my paycheck. She just hit me for $13,000 a month. 
Sis movies and I need to be in them. Okay. Ludacris posted a throwback no. photo, yeah. including several of his Fast and Furious co-stars, oh. minus The Rock. After the filming concluded, oh. neither Johnson nor Diesel mentioned the feud for months. On April 4th, The Fate of the Furious had its world premiere in Berlin, during which fans who watched the film noticed that Johnson and Diesel barely shared any scenes together, oh. and in the ones they did, it looked like they may not have shot them together, oh. but the fans weren't even crazy for thinking this. The Rock confirmed people's speculation in an interview with Rolling Stone. That is correct. We were later. not in any scenes together. Oh, he wow. added that the pair had spoken to each other on set, which included an important face-to-face -face meeting in his trailer. And what I came to realize is that we have a fundamental difference in philosophies on how we approach movie making and collaborating. It took me some uh -oh. time, but I'm grateful for that clarity, whether we work together again or not. What's crazy oh. is it had been eight months since The Rock initially started this feud with Vin Diesel, and Vin never addressed it. And when Vin finally did decide to speak up, it made The Rock angrier than before. On April 7th, 2017, Diesel addressed his rumored feud with Johnson There's during so an interview with on. USA Today. Right. I don't think the world really realizes how close we are in a weird way. I think some things may be blown out of proportion. I don't think that was his intention. I know he appreciates how much I work this franchise. In my house, he's Uncle Dwayne. While there was creative tension on set, Diesel took responsibility for any hiccups as a producer. I protect the franchise. I protect everybody, including Dwayne. I protected Dwayne more than he'll ever know, and it doesn't matter. He doesn't have to know, but he appreciates it. He knows it. Dwayne has only got one Vin in his life. Dwayne Johnson yeah. only has one big brother in this film world, and that's me. When asked Don't. if the pair had Damn. hugged it out Shit. and made amends, Shit. Diesel responded, Shit. always, 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 I'm always rooting for Dwayne. I'm the first multicultural megastar oh. Oh. in Hollywood. They didn't exist. Mm. To see another multicultural that star come is up crumbling is something I'm very proud of. I'm always oh, rooting yeah. Dwayne. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's, At this it's point, Go it with. Yeah, evident yeah. That bro. Is quite yeah, yeah. That's, that's good, dog. No, I'm, I'm big, bro. That's, 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 that's a little bro right there. You know? I'm the first multicultural megastar. I'm yeah. the first one to do this. I'm the first. Shit. Yeah, I gave you your Because career. while Vin's statement Again. seems positive, there is definitely a hint of animosity. He's essentially trying mm. to Lil Bro the Rock, which is essentially treating him like he is inferior or has a lower social status. Even though they are nearly <laughs> tied when considering worldwide box office performance, but Vin has just enough more success to be able to flex on the Rock. Less Not more. to mention less more money, that more in money 16 is crazy. less films. Despite Damn. Vin's sarcastic remarks, Damn. The Rock chose not to respond. What nobody knew at the time was The Rock was so fed up with Vin Diesel at this point that he decided to walk away from the Fast <laughs> franchise. But first, he had an obligation to complete the next Fast spinoff, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw is a buddy comedy action film where Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham like reprise their roles as Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw. Without Vin Diesel and the like other characters from the main franchise, Johnson so and Statham cool, received much needed breathing room to fully flesh out their characters. Hobbs and Shaw was a huge commercial success, Damn, earning really? over $760 million Damn. worldwide. It was also around this time that the Wall Street Journal reported that Vin Diesel and The Rock both have contractual clauses that explicitly oh, they say they cannot lose yeah. a fight in movies. Michael yeah. Patel, a producer, confirmed that fight scenes were choreographed beforehand to ensure they didn't end up too one-sided. During a scene in 2017's Fate of the Furious, Dwayne Johnson apparently had the script tweak to have his character sit down on the floor instead of lying after taking a beating during one fight oh because The Rock God. never lays down. Oh it was reports God. like this that slowly chipped away at The Rock's near-perfect reputation. Yeah. But nobody seemed to criticize Vin Diesel for doing the exact same thing, and perhaps that bothered Dwayne even more. During the promotion for F9, Diesel did an interview with Men's Health where he admitted to using tough love on set when it came to Johnson's portrayal of Hobbs. It was a tough character to embody, the Hobbs character. My approach at the time was a lot of tough love to assist in getting that performance where it needed to be. As a producer to say, okay, we're gonna take Dwayne Johnson, who's associated with wrestling, and we're going to force this cinematic world, audience members, to regard his character as someone that they don't know. Hobbs hits you like a ton of bricks. That's something I'm proud of. Yet again, on the surface, it seems like Vin is praising The Rock, I made but it that could be interpreted yeah. that he's literally taking credit for Johnson's role. He's basically saying, 
saying that if he wasn't the producer, then Dwayne would not have performed the role as Hobbs good enough. What we know for a fact is oh. that The Rock was not very fond of Vin's comments. Telling Vanity Fair, one part of me feels like there's no way I would dignify any of that bull with an answer. The Rock then addressed the Instagram post that he made in 2016, five years ago, that started this whole feud. He said the post caused a firestorm, yet interestingly enough, it was as if every single crew member found their way to me and either quietly thanked me or sent me a note. But yeah, it wasn't my best day. He said, I shouldn't have shared that, because at the end of the day, that goes against my DNA. I don't share things like that, and I take care of that kind of bullshit away from the public. They don't need to know that. That's why I say it wasn't my best day. He stood behind his previous comments, but he did reiterate that sharing his displeasure for Vin Diesel was not the right thing to do. He mentioned again the alleged meeting with Vin in his trailer, where he said that him and Diesel are philosophically two different people, and we approach the business of movie making in two very different ways. Still, Johnson held resentment towards his co-star, and he denounced Diesel's big brother comments. I've been around the block a lot of times. Unlike him, I did not come from the world of theater. And you know, I came up differently and was raised differently. And I came from a completely different culture and environment. And I go into every project giving it my all. And if I feel that there's some things that need to be squared away and handled and taken care of, then I do it. And it's just that simple. So when I read that, just like everybody else, I laughed. I laughed hard. Clearly, whatever happened between Johnson and Diesel was never really resolved. And as future films centered more around Vin Damn. Diesel, the Rock decided to make his exit. In July of 2021, Johnson revealed to the world that he would not be returning to the main franchise while speaking to The Hollywood Reporter. I wish them well on Fast 9, and I wish them the best of luck on Fast 10 and Fast 11 and the rest of the Fast and Furious movies they do that will be without me. And four months after Johnson said that he's never coming back, Vin Diesel made an Instagram post My where little he begged him to rejoin. <laughs> He was little bro in him. My little brother. The My little time. brother? Nah. I don't know. Somebody mm -hmm. keep calling me. I don't know what it is. In the franchise. My little brother Dwayne. Nah. The time has come. The world awaits the finale of Fast 10. As you know, my children refer to you as Uncle Dwayne in my house. Insane. There is not a holiday that goes by that they and you don't send well wishes. But the time has come. I say this out of love, but you must show up. Do not leave the franchise idle. You have a very important role to play. Hobbs can't be played by no other. I hope he that said, you come rise to work, to the nigga. and come, fulfill come your work. destiny. Come to work. The Rock was tired of being lil broed by Vin come Diesel. And it really seems like Vin is continuing to troll him. Saying The Rock needs to fulfill his destiny is making it seem like The Rock playing this role for the seventh time is like some sort of major career milestone. <laughs> as if his movie career would crash and burn if he was not in Fast 10. This post made by Vin Diesel backfired, and it pushed The Rock even further away. Johnson claimed he was very surprised by Vin's recent post during an interview with CNN. This past June, when Vin and I actually connected, not over social media, I told him directly and privately that I would not be returning to the franchise. Well, I was first. firm yet cordial well, with my words and said that I would always be supportive <laughs> of the cast and always root for the franchise to be successful, but that there was no chance I would return. He specifically didn't like how Vin mentioned his children in the post. I guess he's not Uncle Dwayne after all. Unfortunately for The Rock, reality slapped him in the face. Uh -oh. It became abundantly clear that The uh -oh. Rock needed the Fast franchise more than he realized. Uh -oh. In 2021, Dwayne appeared opposite Emily Blunt the in the fantasy adventure I've film Jungle this. Cruise, which was a box office bomb. With an estimated combined production and promotion of cost it. of $365 million, the film needed to gross around $500 million worldwide in Ugh. order to break even, but fell short Short at 221 million. Damn. Then Johnson appeared in another box Black office Adam. bomb in the form of Black Adam, a 2022 Damn. superhero film that Variety estimated needed $600 million to break even, Damn. falling short once again at $393 million worldwide. Oh the failure God, of Black Adam bro. was particularly bothersome for fans because he used his status to obtain a classic Marvel story that had never been brought to the big screen, only to dilute the character and turn him into another movie stroke 
stroking The Rock's ego. Black Adam was supposed to be a dark, sinister anti-hero. The reason why the Marvel Cinematic Universe has become such a massive success around the world is because of how all of the characters can tie together. The Rock did not care about how the character fits in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He wants to be- He is- He wanted to be that hero, bro. No, Kill that shit. Patrick is baby. Damn. It's DC. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, he said Marvel. He's been saying Marvel this whole time. No, because I thought. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. The success around no. the world is because of how all the Marvel Cinematic Universe was supposed to be a dark, sinister anti-hero. The reason why the Marvel Cinematic it's Universe DC, has become such bro. a massive success around the world is because of how all of the characters can tie together. The Rock did not care about how the character fits in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, that part. I thought the first part he was like saying. Like, you thought he was Marvel, saying compared like, it to Marvel. No, he's Damn. he's trolling. This nigga Pat is trolling. He's not stupid, bro. He's trolling. He's trolling, bro. They in his comments heavy. I know it. He's trolling, y'all. He wants to be the universe. <laughs> but The Rock's universe is a repetitive, predictable movie where he plays the macho man with a kind heart who never loses a fight, and never Superman dies, at the and always end. concludes with Bruh. a happy ending. <laughs> people were simply fed up with The Rock and the way he ruined Black Adam, which DC's led to Captain people Marvel. comfortably and confidently just speaking out about all of the other things they despised about him, like his tendency to tell absurd lies. When it comes to food, diet, and his health and wellness, he seems to yeah. exaggerate quite a bit. I can tell you with a little bit of uncertainty because I failed math, I was probably at that time ingesting about anywhere between six to well, I would say possible almost 8,000 calories a day. He set the internet on fire when he claimed that he eats six to 8,000 calories per day. For someone as dedicated as he is to his diet and exercise, buddy. achieving a near perfect physique at 52 years old, he should know exactly how much he is eating per day. But countless experts were just not convinced that The Rock was telling the truth. I can tell you exaggerate too no much. Way the oh my God. Hit this thing off my screen, bro. Six to 8,000 calories. Look at this. Look at this fucking hair transplant. Actually, those oh. calories. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm considering it. Fuck it. There is no way he eats this much. Naturally, this Fuck opened the door for people to discuss the other elephant in the room. Does the steroids. Rock use steroids? After all, he is 52 years old, 100%. 260 pounds, with only 7% body fat, a physique that most people half his age win. couldn't achieve naturally. He admitted to using steroids for two weeks when he was 18 and then never touched them again. And yet, health experts and previous steroid users were convinced he was lying. The Rock is not natural, okay? The Rock, is he's not a patient of mine, so I don't worry about getting sued. Yeah, we're going to be talking about what steroid cycle you I You know think. what's so funny to me? And I can't unsee it now. No, I keep the screen there because you got to look at it. Somebody said, buff niggas right they look like they're in a bodysuit like <laughs> their traps look like they're actual they do. soldiers <laughs> they do <laughs> bro now anytime i see somebody buff i can't unsee that shit it looks like they just put their shoulders on the <laughs> perhaps i'm crushing people's dreams saying i don't believe the rock's natural but hey here in the so real the world, you don't look like The Rock 70. at 50 without taking- I ride my bicycles! One of the more strange lies that The Rock told was when he tried to convince the world that he never had In-N-Out Burger three times. In 2017, yeah. The Rock posted an Instagram photo at the <sighs> In-N-Out drive through with the caption, I've never been to In-N-Out before, and then goes on to describe his delicious meal. Then five the years later, he posted a video seemingly forgetting about his 2017 experience. And the reason why this is his we'll this making, a little bro for this is the very first time that I have ever <laughs> tried an In-N-Out burger or In-N-Out fries or anything from In-N-Out for that matter. Then 15 months later, he posted for the third time saying that this was his Nigga, very first A year? This nigga got dementia. Nigga. Nigga restarted. Burger experience. This is the third time he's done it. He keeps pretending that he's trying In-N-Out for the first time every couple of years. <laughs> Why? Why are you? Where's the LeBron? He was yeah. just LeBron's so lies with the ego. I'm going back to In and Out. Let's go. Can't wait for more In and Out. Why does it always have to be your first time? We know it's not. It appears that the first picture was actually his first time going. The second post was clearly an attempt to advertise his tequila brand. And the third attempt was just well. Still have his hair pushed back that far is wild. 
That's good. The Rock crazy. being The Rock. There is no exact reason as to why he lies about these things, but it seems to revolve around him being hyper-focused on creating this larger-than-life brand as The Rock. If you follow his Instagram, you will realize that The Rock wakes up earlier than anyone, eats more food than anyone, works out more than anyone, travels the world, does $100 million movies. The Rock does everything I bigger and better. He throws in much. little jokes and posts his Sunday cheat meals to let you know he is still human and you what? can relate to him. Then he can use that charm to sell you his newest movie, his tequila, the XFL, or whatever brand is paying him for an advertisement. He doesn't even seem like a human anymore. He seems like an AI version of Dwayne Johnson created in a lab to be a walking, talking advertisement, and people just simply got tired of it. After the two yeah. colossal movie failures and his public reputation at an all-time low, The Rock conveniently decided to settle his differences with his big bro Vin Diesel. Yeah. After he said he never wanted to work Jeez. on the Fast Five again, again, and that hey, he and Vin Diesel are just movies, fundamentally. Let me saw one of the movies, man, bro. <laughs> I need two that, big different bro. men who will never see eye to eye. He posted a video on Instagram saying he was going to return for Fast X. So I am 100% confirming to you guys around the world that yes, it is true. Hobbs is back. Hobbs is back. He's in the trying to make it a thing. Franchise. You can see it. You see it in him. Why? I think you know when you, d despite us having I don't know what to say. Me and Vin. Uh, you know, we've been like brothers for years, and despite having our differences, when you lead with the idea of number one, resolve. His ego so hurt, he had to put the beach in the background. He <laughs> didn't have to. He could have sat in a room and just. Yeah, I just. He had to put the beach in also, the background, bro. Shirt open. You just think about the future, and you think about plans that are much bigger than ourselves. When The Rock desperately needed a career revival the most, Vin Diesel and the Fast franchise were happy to bring him back bro. into the family. Yeah. I guess this proves The Rock was Vin Diesel's little brother after all. For sure. For sure. He could have just admitted he's a little bro. Little bro. No cap. Okay. W video pack. W video punch and shoot. Yeah. Uh, Subscribe. Uh, like the uh, video. Uh, if uh, you uh, made uh, it this uh, far, uh, comment uh, Coke uh, Zero. Damn. Hey. Damn. Hey. Damn. Coke Zero. Damn. Damn. Hey. Damn. Sub to everybody in the vid.